The Lakers are the 10 seed as of today, March 3rd, 2024. At best, the Lakers will probably be no better than the 7 seed. At best. They are behind the Mavericks by two and a half games. I'm sorry, the Mavs by a game and a half at the 8 seed. They're behind the Kings at the 7 seed at two and a half games. They're tied with the Warriors, but behind them in percentage points. So the Warriors are the 9, and the Lakers are the 10. And this kind of goes hand-in-hand with the Warriors as well, but the Lakers get this extra-level push because LeBron James is on their team. And I recently heard them say to Charles Barkley, well, what if Tom Brady was on a play-in team or a wild-card team? Well, He got a point, but let's be real. We're not talking about winning a game. We're talking about winning the championship. The Lakers are not going to win a championship. The Lakers cannot beat the Denver Nuggets, period. The Lakers in a seven-game series probably will not beat the Timberwolves, the Thunder, the Clippers in a seven-game series. They just won't. But you guys have this love affair with this franchise, with this one player who's magically going to erase a season of failure outside of November and December when they won the NBA Cup. Woohoo! NBA Cup champions who are the 10 seed, which is why the NBA Cup thing was an absolute flipping joke because your winner is a 10 seed. Your winner is actually, if you want to be literal, the 17th best team in the NBA right now. <clears throat> I'm looking at the screen right now with um, the standings. The Lakers would be the nine seed in the East. So the, the, the 10 in the West, they would be the nine seed in the East. They are the 17th best team in the league, which means they're on the bottom half. Of the league. They're in the bottom half. 